Hey guys, I'm gonna do a July wrap up today. July's not over yet, but I think I'm probably done with all the books I'm gonna read this month. So let's just jump in and get started. I wanna start with the books that I read during the Booktubeathon, even though that was sort of in the middle of the month. It started on July 14th, it went till July 21st, and I read four books. The first book I read during the Booktubeathon is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis. This is the third book chronologically in the Narnia series, and it was really good, and I really liked it, and I really encourage you to read the Narnia series. Clearly I'm not finished with it, but it's really good. The second book I read during the Booktubeathon was Landline, and this was not something that fulfilled any of the challenges. I actually read this for the book to movie adaptation challenge and the challenge to read a book in a genre you haven't read much of so that's what that was. Landline did not fulfill any challenges but I really 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 wanted to read it and I really loved it. Yeah I definitely think you should read this also. The third book I read during the booktubeathon is Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld and this fulfilled the um, book with red on the cover and the book with pictures challenge. I think that's what I said. It doesn't really matter because I didn't complete all of them, but I don't think I'm going to read the rest of the series just because I didn't love it, love it, love it, but I've been meaning to read this for ages, so I'm super glad that I finally did. The last book that I read during the Booktubeathon was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I don't have it with me because it was a library book, and that book was excellent. I definitely think that everyone should read it. I know that there's been a lot of buzz about it because of Jesse and other people who have been reading it, so definitely, definitely check it out. Okay, so that's the booktube books, or booktubeathon books, excuse me. But the very first book I read this month was Northanger Abbey. I read it on my Kindle, so I can't show it to you. It's a Jane Austen book. It's a classic. I had actually started it months ago, I think in March or something. So I finally finished reading that. It was really good. I think it's her shortest book, so if you're at all interested in Jane Austen, I would recommend that as maybe a place to start, even though it's not the most famous one. It's short so you can read it fast I guess. The second book I read this month was also on my Kindle. It was called The Revised Fundamentals of Caregiving by Jonathan Evison and it was excellent. It's a contemporary adult fiction. It's a story about a man who is caring for a boy who is wheelchair bound and they go on a road trip. I love road trip books so yeah, I'd really recommend that for anyone who loves contemporary and if you like road trip stories. It was really sweet and I really liked it. So the next book I read was called Domestic Violets by Matthew Norman and this book was so good. It's honestly one of the best books I've ever read and I did have some sort of personal connections to it because the narrator is a guy who works in advertising and I have a degree in advertising so I connected to the world he was in and some of the struggles he was having because he also wants to be a writer and I want to be a writer. So you may not connect to it like I did but I thought it was really really funny, really good contemporary adult stuff and I just really really liked it and I actually wrote to the author and he wrote me back and it was just Wow, it was really good. The book I read right after this was The Unbound, which is the sequel to The Archive by, by Victoria Schwab. And I didn't like that one as much as The Archive. The novelty of the narrative had kind of worn off, and I didn't think the plot was as exciting. So not my favorite, but worth reading if you enjoyed The Archived. And I definitely recommend The Archived as a place to start. Obviously, it's the first one. And I have three more books that I've read recently. The first of the three is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and I did a review of this just the other day, so I'll post that right here. Really good contemporary young adult fiction, um, just a good summer story, so check it out. I also read Amulet by Kazu Kabushi. I don't know if that's how you say it. This is a graphic novel. It's middle grade. I picked this up because Reagan at the Peruse Project talked about it. The illustrations are really good. Oops. I thought this was a good adventure story. I will probably pick up the sequels if I see them. This is from the library, so I'm not going to buy it, but I'll probably read the next ones because it was a good adventure. So if you want something that's a quick read, it's worth your time. And a book I just finished is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And this book was a bit of a disappointment to me because it had been getting a lot of hype and a lot of buzz, and I honestly just didn't think it was that good. It was fun, it was light. 
but I was expecting a lot more because people have been talking about it so much. So if you're curious about it, I would pick it up. It's about a girl who writes these letters to the boys that she has loved before. There's five of them and then the letters get sent out and they were never intended for the eyes of the boys they were for. They were just sort of a closure thing for her. So I thought that was a really cute premise, but honestly it just didn't follow through on that as well as I wanted. So not my favorite. So for all of these books, I think I've written really brief reviews on Goodreads and I'll put those down below if you want more information about them because I just wanted to briefly skim over everything I read. And if you have any questions about things I liked or didn't like or any questions about the books, leave them in the comments. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys soon. I'll probably do a haul for July. I have some books that I bought. So yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.